Good morning guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It's Wednesday morning, which means it's time for another Tool Time gear review. And as always, I got another good one for you. You guys know about my DeWalt addiction, but you also know that I run a uh, landscaping handyman business and I've been quickly switching everything over to battery. So I thought I would do something a little bit different. I received this about a week ago. I haven't opened it yet but I am ready to use it in my business. So I thought, why not do a first impressions unboxing video? It's something I should be doing more often when these expensive DeWalt tools come in because, well, it's something I'm sure you'd love to see. So hang in there, we're gonna open this puppy up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, real quick before we dive into the review, if you haven't and you want to become part of this community, just hit that subscribe button. You, we get new videos five times a week from Saturday through Wednesday, tool reviews, starting your own business, and all kinds of things in between. And run by toolmantim.co, that's toolmantim.co to find out everything there is to know about me. Uh, check out the shop section there where I have a whole bunch of recommended Amazon products. They're basically uh, solutions to problems, Things like, hey, I got paint on my siding, how do I get it off, or I need to hang a really heavy painting and I can't drill, what do I use? Things that I've run into in my business that have made me money or saved me money. So run by there, check it out. Anything you pick up will help support the content I create and, you know, help support this channel. So thanks, guys. All right, so now let's get into the meat of this review. So you guys, I don't know if you have watched some of my other reviews, things that I've worked on, done, that kind of stuff, but you know that I love my outdoor DeWalt landscaping cordless tools. Now, last summer when I was down visiting my kids, I ended up needing a weed whipper because I didn't know that their place was in you know dire need of weed whipping. <laughs> so I went to Home Depot and I bought their 20 volt uh, collapsible weed whipper and I fell in love with the damn thing. It worked great. The only thing that sucked about it was the head. It was just horrible. It would feed string all the time. It, it basically, it, it didn't, it wasn't like a bump feed. It was like a, a centrifugal feed. Every time it was spinning, it would always be feeding a little bit and you'd be cutting it off. You'd be going through string like crazy. And then the bump head actually wore through really quick. So it'd be cool for like a homeowner, but it, it didn't cut it for, for me. So I upgraded the head and it was perfect. And I thought, you know, I love it. And I'm a two is one, one is none. So I just bought another cordless DeWalt mower. That makes two. And I wanted another cordless DeWalt weed whipper. And this was, well, basically I do like getting the same of both, but I really, really wanted to try this new, the 60 volt flex volt. It's a 17 inch and it comes with, I don't know if you can see, or not, it doesn't come with, but it's compatible with all of those extra attachments. So it's kind of like the still combi system. I really like it. So it, it can do hedge trimming, which I have, it can do pole saw, which I have, but it can do edging. It can do a brush cutting and a very awkward looking blower. But for me, the edger was what I was looking for. And maybe the brush cutter as well, but honestly, it's the edger that I'd really like to have because I've never had an edger and it's probably something I should get into doing. So I thought I would show you guys, I have not opened this box yet. It actually came almost open on the end. So let's hope nothing's missing <laughs> because the, the, big, the big truck company that brings everything straight to the house from Home Depot, sometimes they're not as careful as they should be. But let's show you, if we can, right here, quick, quick load spool. That's a little bit different, but I'm sure we're going to end up upgrading that as well. Comes with a, I believe it's a, three amp flex volt battery comes with a charger and of course they love to show off that it, it works with all the 20 volt and 60 volt attachments model number is dcs t 972 x1 always love it when they throw the x's in there and of course attachments available all of those right there looking forward to them they're about 100 bucks some of them are about 100 bucks canadian which really isn't that bad 17 inch 431.8 millimeters. Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> Such a convenient system, hey? All right, so let's open this bad boy up and see what comes in the box. I'm gonna set it down here. It's gonna be out of your way for a second. Cardboard. Here is the charger. See if these old eyes can read that. 1.5 amp lithium ion fast charger. That's good because a lot of them that I end up 
getting. They seem to be. I gotta check the one with the mower, but I haven't been real pleased with them. Although you guys know I use my fast charger, so that's not that big of a deal either way. Now, let's see if we can get this out of here. More cardboard. Oh, there's half a weed whipper. So let's check this guy out to start with before we dig in any further. Ooh, man, oh man. That thing feels like it's built like a brick shithouse. It's not super heavy. The handle, let's see, first feelings here so far. Also, I love this feature. I thought it was an absolute gimmick and it's something I use all the time, the high and low setting. And honestly, it, it does help with battery life. But the big thing is I love the low setting because you can get up against vinyl siding and not be nearly as worried about beating the, you know, the rat shit out of it, excuse my French. <laughs> and, you know, so it, it's nice to have that. This is a much sturdier shaft than the other ones. 60 volt brushless, the battery goes up here, a nice little handle. I like the design of the head on this, or the, the, the motor body, a lot better than the other one. It just feels really rugged. And it should for the price that they charge for some of these flex bolt tools, hey? All right, here, whoa, I was way off. I gotta look, I am sure, wow, that's exciting. <laughs> a nine amp hour battery. I'm not kidding, I'm sure when I bought this sucker, it said a three amp hour on the package. Uh, the box? Man, I'm going to need glasses soon. <laughs> the box says 9 amp hour, I think, but I'm sure when I bought this guy online that it was a 3 amp hour or maybe a 4 amp hour battery. But this is, yeah, that really makes my week. I love it. Now, i got to show you something, and you'll probably laugh at me. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but these FlexVolt batteries, they come with these red connectors, and it took me way too long to figure out how to remove them on the last one. I was thinking, I gotta get a knife. What in the hell did they put them on there with? And then of course you realize they come off just like you put them on with a tool. Push down the button and it slides off. Everybody online says, keep these, protect your batteries. I probably should, but I don't because, well, it's just another little piece to lose and get in the way and be a pain in the ass. But that is a brick of a battery. All right, now the final piece, I think, let's see. Nope, a couple more things. So, in the box, we have the owner's manual, which is written on newspaper. What do we got here? Instruction manual, instruction manual. Hmm. String trimmer attachment and the power head. So it comes with a separate instruction manual for each piece. Now, what else we got in here? Oh, some Allen keys to lose, cool. That is a professional style. I like the D-shaped handle. Really, no, I cannot wait to use this. Oh my God. I know, I know, you're a geek, Tim. There it is. It's a little more rigid of a plastic than I like. I like the little more flexible ones. This will probably get beat up over time, but that's okay. As long as it keeps it from throwing it up in my eyes. And it's a good wide shield. All right, now what's left in here? And that is that. Wow. Look at this. That's got a nice, I'm going to bring this right up here, a nice powder coated finish. Just caught myself on the door. <laughs> nice powder coated finish all the way up. Nice direct drive head, or no, not a, sorry, not direct drive, but a, a nice uh, straight shaft that, look at that. That is just beautiful. It feels so much more sturdy than my little folding 20 volt one, but that's okay too. So let's check this guy out, see how he goes together. So in case you're wondering, oh, well, we need to remove the, the thread protector, which may be an issue. So we may not put this together right now while I stand here and look like a dummy. Okay, I had to pause it, watch a video for a minute because I was going to get mad and curse or something. Anyway, something super simple and I'm sure someone else out there is going to do this because I, sometimes, like I said, I get confused by the littlest things. That one I got figured out. I could not figure out how to get that to attach to this because they are exactly the same piece. 
exactly the same diameter. And I'm like, I wanted to make sure. I was like, this is chipping up really well. I said, that feels like plastic. Metal, metal, plastic. Guess what? Out it comes. There we go. Latched into place. And in case anybody wants to know, <laughs> these flex volt batteries are pretty tough. Much more balanced than the other one. That's one of my biggest complaints. But I cannot wait to get out in the field. Keep an eye out in the next month or so. We're going to run this sucker through its test, through its paces, test it out and see how it works. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I hope you laughed at my expense when you realized that all it was was a simple little piece of plastic. And that's it for me, guys. Anyway, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.